some folks are already just oriented or inoculated to talking about racial and social justice, but then there are some folks that are not. There are those folks that are inoculated, they are doing, you know, working with their own groups, right? But they're not situating that with the work of the union. And I think that is the biggest barrier or bridge obstacle to cross is to bring those people in to say, this is the work of the union. I think that when we are orienting ourselves around uh, really pushing a racial and social justice lens, like that means every single thing we do in the union has to have that lens. And where it's not there, how do we get there? For us in UTLA, a big part of it was creating this racial and social justice committee. But as I take office in two months, I've been very uh, keen on telling staff and telling members and telling just rank and file folks that we are going to be taking a look at all of the work we're doing with a racial and social justice lens. That means tactical plans, convenings, every single thing we do has to have that tweak. Not only that, but it is critically important to bring in labor, community orgs, students, and parents into this work. I want to bring up the voice of the students because um, I think it's a part of lifting as we climb. Uh, a lot of people talk about uh, community demands or bargaining for the common good. We saw that in our strike in 2019 of January. A big part of one of the wins that we had were around community uh, bargaining for the common good. We took what, the, what was going on out in the streets, out with members, with parents and community orgs to really push something. One was ending this criminalization of youth, talking specifically about ending random searches, which we know are racist in its nature and they're not random. So the students have been laboring on pushing to end random searches and they were not getting across that threshold. We were able to bring that into the dynamics of our bargaining and actually win that piece on bargaining to end uh, random searches. So just that piece, our students said, wow, teaming up with the union, teaming up with Black Lives Matter LA, of which I'm a member, um, and really pushing a different type of narrative has really um, engaged our members and engaged our work. Um, I want to hit that we need to have a broad coalition of support, again, that centers uh, racial and social justice, and that creates that momentum in the movement of what we can do as we move forward. Um, we have to be able to press on in the fight, especially with unwilling members who only want to drive a bread and butter issues uh, narrative. That narrative is limited in scope, only gets you so far, and we know that, that we have to break that bound to say, look, it's going to be up to us, and we have to bring in all the voices to sit at the table. Because if we know if you're not sitting down the table, you're on the menu. So we have to do that. And we have to make sure that our parents and our students also have a seat that is right next to us, not behind us, right next to us.